ni wajibu wa kila kiongozi kuwa na usimamizi bora katika kitengo cha kazi yake. Kizungumza katika mafunzo kwa makasisi wa kanisa la IBC, askofu mkuu wa kanisa la IBC Daktari Timbo Thindambuki, kiongozi ana wajibu wa kufanya kazi kwa kuongozwa na utu wa kazi. Hata watu wakikuona waone, they are changed. They are transformed. Yeah? Community and network. Wow. And you are that community leader. Kiongozi wa kuigwa ufanya kazi na moyo mkujufu ambapo matendo yake huashiria kiongozi shupavu. Askofu mkuu Daktari Timothy Ndambuki akiwaomba viongozi wale kuwa viongozi wa andilifu. Na we that you draw what we we call identity. What is our identity? Asabu wesi kwenda hivyo hivyo huko tu. What is your identity? And what what can other people match you? in this work of the ministry so that when they look at you and they look at Jesus they see similarities mm. yeah mm. what are the similarities and especially now when you have now learned uh, this uh, through this course what we call servant leadership and when after this I know it will change your attitude your mind and then begin to draw into individuals vile vile mkufunzi wao daktari Timothy Mulinge amewahimiza makasisi wale kumakinika kwenye kazi yao ya ukasisi vile vile wakiimizwa kutekeleza wajibu wao vyema wakati wanaelekea kwenye uchanguzi mkuu we were dealing with an issue of pastor as a community leader and uh, some of the key issues that we talked today were about uh, leading the people with integrity and i want to say that uh, uh, for a leader to be effective and uh, to be impactful to the society they must display a sense of integrity integrity is what makes a leader and a leader who lacks integrity i think is not worthy to be called a leader and especially this time when we are coming towards election I would really want to urge people and the church leaders and uh, and uh, and uh, all people just to think about what kind of a leader am I going to elect 